Sarah. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm so good too. Um, congratulations on everything and on, oh my God, I loved this movie so much. I mean, I got all the feels, but I'm going to be really honest with you, my dear. What's something with Brooke and her behavior? Okay, come on, seriously? I know. Um, I know it's tough. I feel like people are going to leave the theater and have very no, different no. opinions on her. Um, <laughs> but I think she's amazing. I think she's got two people who are really relying on her for their own emotional well-being. And that's a lot to put on a teenager. So I kind of love that she's able to like stand her ground and, and be bit of an asshole like I think it's fair enough fair enough but here's the here's the thing too and, and and I and I see where you're going with this because look you know sadly there are a lot of children of divorce and and you know and you're and so sometimes you take it out on the parent that needs that cuddling that needs that you know you're taking advantage and I think that Brooke is clearly doing that with her mom you know um so okay I I can see that a little bit but for you to play somebody like that must have been a lot of fun because she's a different from what we've seen. Absolutely. I feel like it's a big departure from what I normally play. I, and I've actually been told a lot that I'm like not able to play mean characters, which is not fun to hear when you're doing this for a living and when yeah. you know that characters like that are going to come up. So the fact that I was able to like sit in this character and kind of play around and I had such a beautiful environment to do that in because of... I mean, everyone who worked on this film was like so welcoming and wonderful. So yeah. it just felt like a, a pretty amazing experience for me. Yeah, yeah. It looked like a lot of fun. And there's so many layers. And, and, and you know, I, I want to get into how much fun you had with these, you know, like you say, your co-stars, because let, let's start with Charlie. Okay, I would say that I think you are probably uh, going to be the envy of every teenage girl out there, <laughs> because not only do you get to work with Charlie, but you have Felix in Ginny and Georgia too, right? Girlfriend, seriously? Like, I know. <laughs> Actually, Felix and Charlie just went to like a desert of sorts together to like do something. And so they Are know each kidding? other now. And so like, Felix, I think, commented on a picture and was like, this is so weird. Like all of our lives are crossing over. But yes, I am one lucky little girl. The best part is that they are like wonderful people. Like yeah. they're not just beautiful, beautiful men. They are they have golden hearts and like yeah. to get to know people like that is a true gift. Um, and I actually, I watched Julia and the Phantoms. So I, Same. I yeah. mean, I watched that after I met Charlie and I like, did it to support him, but I ended up watching the whole thing because it was such a good show. Yeah. So I understand how excited everyone is about him and how much people love him. And honestly, if I, if I didn't know he was an actor, I'd love him the exact same amount. Like he's just a, the best guy. Yeah, that when you work with somebody and you know him from before, like you were friends with him too. So when you have the opportunity to work with somebody on that level, um, how does it help you as an actor? I guess it would just make it so much easier and, and the comfort zone is there. Totally. I've I've had experiences where I've had to kiss people pretty much who I don't know. Oh, um, uh, too bad. <laughs> uh, my job is so hard. Comes with the uh, job, yeah. <laughs> but it does make a huge difference when you know someone. And also like, for me, usually I make friends on the projects I do. Like if I start as strangers, like obviously we spend so much time together by the end, they are my best friends. So going into it, being really close with someone was new for me yeah. and just the most incredible time. Like we just had so much fun. It was equal work and equal fun because he's a very hard worker and like very dedicated to his character and very dedicated to every scene that he's in. And so to be around that energy was like super incredible and like, helped me as a performer I feel like we bounced off of each other really well um it was just so much fun yeah and what I love also about this story is that um it just doesn't you know it deals with family obviously and relationships and things like that I mean how many ex-boyfriends kind of become besties with their mom like you know what I mean it's an interesting dynamic but it could happen you know but it's also a lot about mental health not just Brooke your character's mental health like his mental like you know, Charlie's character. Um, and you're such an advocate of that. So was that really important to you when you read the script thinking, 
wow, this really will speak to a lot of people, a lot of teens. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I knew Charlie was going to be in this when I got the script. So I was reading it with him in mind. And I know that that scene near the water tower, like I just Ugh. knew was going to wreck everyone yeah. in the theater. And I've heard that that is true. I feel like it is so rare to get that kind of emotion on screen out of a man. And that's a beautiful thing to be part yeah. of. Um, and yeah, I always love talking about mental health. I feel like it's an everyday thing. Um, so whenever I get to include that and in, well, it's not like I included it, but whenever I get to be part of a project yeah. that has that involved, I just get so happy and so proud because I think yeah. it's a really important thing. Absolutely. Um, okay, Michaela, I mean, what can I say? She's so amazing. I mean, she's in almost everything. Every time you turn on the TV or you go to the theater, like there she is. She's so fantastic. Now I have it on good authority that you were a big fan of hers before you started because you recreated a skit of hers from SNL for your bat mitzvah. Sure okay, did. I love it. I got to see this, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one's seeing that. That is oh, very come on, deep, Sarah. <laughs> deep, deep, deep on the interweb. It is not seeing the light of day. But it's so funny that it exists. And like, even I remember, so I, I got the email that I, that they wanted me for this movie when I was in New York. And so when I flew home and I saw my parents, I was like, guys, I have news. And they were like, what is it? And I was like, I just got offered a role in a movie. And they were like, oh, thank God. Cause I hadn't worked in a while. And I was like, but two things you're going to love. And I was like, number one, guess who's playing my boyfriend. And they were like, who? I was like, Charlie, my mom screamed. My mom loves Charlie is like yeah. literally obsessed with him. And then I was like, and my mom's Michaela Watkins and they are huge casual fans. Like they had right. been watching casual that whole summer yeah. and they were just like off the walls excited. <laughs> so yeah, my whole family is, they're big Michaela fans. I think they're all going to meet her tomorrow night. So I'm super excited for that. Oh, that's um, going to be interesting. <laughs> you know how they say to like never meet your heroes? That yeah. is not the case with Michaela. She's everything I could have hoped for and more. She's everything I want to be as a performer and just as a human being. She's absolutely lovely. I was going to say that because, you know, look, you've been doing this a long time. You were a, a, a young little thing when you started. I mean, come on, we, we love you here in Toronto and following you up, of course, your own career. But when you work with somebody that you admire so much and you've had that opportunity over the years, what do you learn? Like, what do you learn from a Michaela, especially for the fact that she started like in the groundlings and she's got that kind of improv experience and stuff. So on the sidelines, when you're not acting, what do you take away? Well, I love people who have worked for what they've got. Like she really, yeah, she did the groundlings thing. She worked from the bottom and she made her way up. And I, I respect that so much. And I think when you reach a certain level of fame, it's very easy to become an asshole. Um, yeah. Michaela yeah. never did. And I think that's the main thing I take away is like how people who I admire treat the people on set, not just directors and, and writers and producers, but like hair props everyone yeah. and she just has the most genuine beautiful heart and she like was so lovely to everyone and I think that's the main thing that I took away and I was just like there is no there I just want to be her I really yeah. want to be her she's incredible well you're on your way you're definitely <laughs> on your way there's no question about it but but again like I just this movie, it has all the feels and, and what, have, what is responses like maybe, you know, for some of the screenings that you've had so far, um, has anybody come up to you and like, you know, has anything kind of really touched you so far? I mean, I've only been in a space where people could do that once. And okay. I think everyone was just like rolling over and frothing at the mouth to talk to Charlie. So <laughs> I didn't really get, I didn't really get to speak to many people, but I know from like what I've seen online that people are just mesmerized by it as they should yeah. be because the performances are outstanding. I mean, like Michaela and Charlie, yes, but Rainbow is incredible. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. So I feel like everyone just really felt how grounded it was and how real it was and and kind of like leaned into that and I think that's yeah. what you want in an audience when you are showing your art like you just want them to really lean into it and put themselves in that mental space and I feel yeah. like that's been very consistent with all the people who have watched our movie 
Amazing. Well, it, it'll keep happening. I, it's just such a good movie. I really hope that people see this movie. I loved it so much. Okay, we have to talk Ginny and Georgia before you go. Um, so we're, we're getting a new season. I So you're about to go into production, I understand, in April, I think it is. Um, and last time we, we spoke for season two, I was so excited for your character, Max, because she got to perform. I mean, you really got to shine. What are you most, I, I know you can't tell me anything, but and that's fine. But what are you kind of most excited about, you know, going back, seeing everybody after the strike and everything? Like, oh, my God, it's been forever. Um, what, what's exciting you most about going back on the set? Just being her again, being Max again. I yeah. cried in season two when they put on my hair and makeup and, and outfit for the first time. Like, I, that's a character that's really changed my life and, and changed me for the better. And so just getting to step back into those shoes is so exciting for me. And I don't know anything about season three. Like I actually swear, like I don't. So if I get any of this right, that's just a fluke. But I really hope that there is another musical because also too, yeah. yeah, like I love that stuff. And they're so smart with their lyrics and the music's so good. So we actually, Marriage is a Dungeon got nominated for an Emmy. So okay. so that's got to tell them something. <laughs> yeah. So I hope that they do another musical selfishly because I just love performing and it's, yeah amazing um yeah. but yeah seeing everyone I, I I remember when I booked this role I was like even if I don't get this I will watch this show because it's so good oh it's great and so just as a viewer I'm excited to see what happens so yeah and so much has cool. changed like Brian Brian has not a, a child she has a kid now and then, I mean there's just so yeah it's amazing what happens in between seasons and then, I like know I say, it's been <laughs> I a just while saw- I just saw Diesel, who plays Ginny's little brother, who's yeah. supposed to be like eight on the show. And now he's like 14. And right? he's so low. He was like, hey, Sarah. And I was like, what? Like, <laughs> this is insane. So I'm interested to see how they deal with that. But yeah. Yeah. they'll figure I mean, it out. They just have to jump ahead in time now, I guess, for some of you. I don't know. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be mind bending. But anyway, but listen, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Always love talking to you. We're so proud of you here in Toronto. You know that. And um, just keep up the great work. And like I said, Suze is just fantastic. I just love can't even say enough about this movie. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much, Bonnie. You are the best. You're most welcome. We'll see you soon, I'm sure. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.